What's up guys, it's your boy The Moan and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Everybody struggles with figuring out how to build particular units. So in today's video guys, uh, Scales with HP, I wanted to cover a specific segment of the game uh, with specific units that scale with HP. Uh, this unit, this game, or this video, <laughs> this video is not intended to cover healers uh, who also of course scale with HP uh, with their heals, but we're talking specifically about uh, units that could potentially either tank for your team and or be damage dealers or both. Uh, I wanted to kind of showcase a couple of them. Haste is not one of those. <laughs> He is just a friend rep, but the front three, like Zeno, uh, Ken, and then of course Arwell, uh, are all candidates uh, that scale with HP, with maximum HP anyway. And I wanted to talk about specifically how to build these characters uh, so you guys can get a better idea uh, as to what to do with these. Um, shouts out to Ken, because uh, he's the one that kind of inspired me to do this. Because, uh, listen, guys, HP scaling characters are pretty freaking beasty. Okay, and I'm going to explain to you guys why, especially if you guys are excited about Gear Wars and or other general content. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the heck up out of here and uh, go back to the lobby, and I'll show you guys what exactly I mean. So, typically speaking, like, let's say if we take a unit like Xeno. Okay, if you look at his abilities, you're looking at here, uh, damage dealt increases proportional to Cash's max health. Okay, um, another thing here, skill one, damage stealth increases proportional to caster's max health. When you look at abilities like that, what it lets you know that it, basically in a nutshell, the higher the health scaling, um, or excuse me, yeah, the higher the HP of your unit, the more damage they could potentially deal. Now, the question burns down to how do you build that particular unit? Now, ultimately that's gonna dep depend on your gear overall, okay? And so I want to talk about um, how to really uh, maximize your unit based on the gear that you have, okay? So <clears throat> when looking at it, uh, a unit, like let's take my Ken. I got Ken on speed, health, and uh, crit. Now the reason why I opted for speed on the boot is because I'm running a full health set. So it's automatically giving me another 45%, which is equivalent to basically having some kind of uh, health boot here, right? So. I know I can get a lot more if I did like some 85 gear here and went for the 60%, which give me an extra 15. But the issue is, is that I don't have the speed substats that I feel that I would need in order to do that uh, just yet. Okay, <laughs> so that's why. But I'm running speed here again to offset this. Now, if I was looking at this in a perspective like if I didn't need him to go, if he was a unit that I just wanted to be as tanky as possible to just soak up the run of damage, and then when they finally do get a turn, or if they had a situation where I had them on a counter attack set, and their skill one was something that was like a provoke or like uh, a, an attack break, or something that was just really annoying or a stun, uh, specifically for PvP, then that's a unit that I would potentially build on like health on the boots, health on the ring, <laughs> and then like crit rate or crit damage on the necklace, okay? So in terms of stages, like when do you build what? So in the beginning, uh, the most important thing is just to get as much health as you possibly can. Once you have as much health as you possibly can uh, on a particular unit, um, especially when you're starting out, because it's going to be really hard in the beginning to get the perfect stats unless you're just getting lucky with gear drops. Uh, but in the beginning, building these types of units, uh, you're just going to get as much health as you can. So if that it includes a, a full health set, great, use that. If that is a speed set, great, use that. If that's a full crit set, great, use that. It doesn't necessarily matter the set as long as you get as much of this health as you can. Now, as you start to move through the game, you're going to get to those sticking points. You're like, damn, I'm getting stuck here. I'm stuck at 7.5. I'm stuck at, stuck at 9.7. I'm stuck at 10.9. You know, those things then you're really gonna to start to pay attention to a couple of things. Outside of the health, you're gonna start looking at the crit rate, which mine is still low, forgive me, because I haven't plus this yet. Uh, but you're gonna start looking at the crit rate, and you're also gonna start looking at the crit damage on top of the health, okay? Um, also, if your unit applies any harmful effects, uh, whoever your HP scaling damage unit is, is going to be, uh, you know, if they apply any harmful effects, you're gonna look at effectiveness as well. Now, when you have these three things, you're gonna just start paying attention to those, okay? So affecting this to 50%, crit rate as close to 100% as you can get it, um, and crit damage, of course, as high as you possibly can, and then set a goal for your health. So like mine is like 25 to 30,000. 
Um, so as we work closer and closer and closer to that, um, then I want to, again, make sure that my critical hit and my critical damage and my speed and my effectiveness is all in play. Uh, so that's what I'm looking at. Like I said, unless I'm building a unit on counterattack and I want them to be slow because I don't care if they get a turn. I just want them to get attacked. Does that make sense? So when I look at this, um, that's typically how uh, I'm looking at building like a starter hero. Now, in terms of what goes where in the slots, it's totally up to you. Okay, and like I said, this is why it depends on your gear overall when you guys are looking at HP scaling units. So you guys could run health percent, health percent, crit rate, or you guys could run health percent, health percent, crit damage, or you can run health percent, uh, health percent, uh, crit rate if your crit rate is too low. Okay, so like my crit rate is too low, so it doesn't make sense to me to run crit damage with, <laughs> with the, if I don't have any crit rate because otherwise I'm just wasting a piece of gear. And then once your gear is insane, uh, and let me explain to you what I mean by insane. What I mean by insane is basically your substats are perfect. So let's say your crit damage is like 15, your crit rate is like 15, uh, you know, on each piece of gear. And it puts you in a position where you're able to run health, health, health uh, with the ability to get as much crit rate and crit damage and speed as you need to still have your unit effective and still have as, as much stats as you can. It's pretty much like a crazy max level, like perfect gear build. Now, don't anticipate that that will happen for a very long time, but that's definitely something that'll pull in. But eventually, what you'll probably end up on is like an HP, HP crit damage build uh, with close to 100% crit rate. Uh, to give you guys an idea of what that build would look like, we'll use my, oh crap. <laughs> we won't use my Kisei. We won't, we won't, hold on. We might be able to, hold on. Yes, we'll use, we'll use Kisei. Uh, so for instance, like Kisei here, uh, just to give you guys an example, it's at 93% crit, 271% crit damage, right? Um, so just picture kind of these kinds of stats with, you know, your HP style bruiser um, in a situation where, of course, they have, you know, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30,000 HP, uh, again, to maximize damage. If you guys are wondering, it's like, yo, you know, I know it says skills with HP, but wouldn't attack... Uh, you know make it make their damage higher well yeah uh, because in these types of games guys you got to understand that attack power affects damage all units steal all skills um, it's just kind of what it is it's a base modifier the thing is though is when you look at uh, skills or abilities that scale with the enemy's max HP wow that's a long ass paragraph to read <laughs> but what is proportional to the caster's max health understand that health just holds a uh, bigger weight on your particular unit's abilities uh, and, and their ability to deal damage. So the beautiful thing though, guys, about bruisers is what I like to call them just because they're tanky, you know, and they're like, boom, you know, they're in, they're, they're in the fight with the high stats. The thing I like about them is they're automatically tanky. So what that allows you to do is just make them tankier and tankier and tankier and tankier, increases their survivability and their damage scaling goes up. Okay, so like my kin is getting close to being on par with my Surin, and my Surin is just a beast. <laughs> okay, uh, but Ken is getting closer and closer and closer, at, and I like the fact because because of this, I'm getting the stats higher and higher and higher and higher as I go. Um, it's allowing me the opportunity to run Ken in situations that I wouldn't normally run other damage dealers in due to the fact that they're a little bit more squishy than, let's say, my kin. So let's say, you know, um, and this can apply to any damage, like ROL, I'm gonna build ROL too, kind of the same way as I'm building Ken, uh, <clears throat> except just faster. Um, in this type of situation, all I have to do really is just increase Ken's defense, increase his HP, uh, makes him more sturdy overall, and then as he's becoming more sturdy, sturdy he's just gonna keep punching holes in mofos, okay? So <laughs> that's the big thing there. Um, the big thing about this video, guys, is understanding um, how to really position your HP scaling units. And, and that's typically speaking as simple as possible with as much HP as you can. And then in order to maximize that damage as you progress through the game, you wanna maximize the crit rate, the crit damage, the effectiveness, uh, and or the speed, depending on the type of unit that you're building. So like I said, like if I'm looking at an ROL um, who, who scales with HP damage, but has a passive where I want a barrier that's going to be up all of the time, then I'm looking at lots and lots of speed on this unit and a lot of HP. If I'm looking at a unit that, let's say, 
uh, counter attacks. Let's say, let's just pretend for a second that Ken had a stun on one, then he's a unit that I'm looking at that could potentially uh, be built on, uh, you know, a little bit slower, not slow per se, but slower um, with as much HP as you can so you can maximize on the counter attack and capitalize on the stun effects, okay? And then, of course, uh, a unit like Zeno, who you pretty much want positioned. Uh, or can be positioned anywhere in your team composition, you would look at the rest of your team and decide where you would want Zeno's abilities to go. Um, and then from there, uh, then you just kind of build them accordingly, but still maximize, maximize, eh, maximizing this HP, effectiveness, speed, crit rate, and crit damage, okay? Not necessarily in that order. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I just wanted to talk about these HP scaling units just in case anybody out there is confused about how to build these particular units to get you guys kind of started off on the right foot. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. And with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.